Let's do a little hall check. Hall check. Nitro brew at 7 p.m. check. And cheddar cheese burrito that's frozen. Woo! Party in the house. Yes. Yes. Okay. I need to stop. <laughs> Debrief this. Let's debrief. So here I am with my large ice matcha. So let's just talk about where we're at. Let's talk about let's talk about the Fourth of July weekend. Let's talk about my week. Let's just say is today Monday? Friday? Today's Monday. Oh boy, I thought it was the end of the week. I got so happy it was the weekend. Nope, it's the beginning of the week. Um, I don't know how I feel. Don't know how I feel about this ice matcha, but... I don't know, I guess we could just say that I am definitely on this healing journey right now. I feel... Pretty drained. I'm not even gonna lie, I feel pretty drained, but I'm getting through it. This weekend was pretty tough, but we're getting through it with just doing things that make me happy, spending time with people that make me happy, doing things that make me happy. And I think that's a good thing for sure. And just like taking it step by step, day by day, and just like going for it. Because like, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes you should take it like moment by moment and just like take it in and like, yeah, I feel like that sometimes helps me process things the best and just kind of like, along I guess like I'm not really making sense but at the same time like at the same time I just need to like need to like take it day by day and that's the best that I can do yeah okay anyways so post matcha I'm feeling like a little better update so like I feel like I want to be transparent with you all just because I just feel like that's me one I'm just a transparent person I honor vulnerability I honor like yeah openness and everything and just like being very clear with everyone that I'm talking to yeah so basically yes yeah, so this weekend as I said before it has it was pretty tough um, because I had to endure a like experience that really uh, made me feel degraded and awful and worthless, which is never a fun experience, never a fun feeling to be like feeling that way. Anyways, I'm not even gonna go into de detail because that really doesn't like I don't know. It's not important to like why like what I'm trying to talk about right now but like basically after that experience I was really trying to like process the information and since 
since this is labeled the healing diaries i thought that it'd be like i thought it'd be proper and fitting to kind of just like to kind of just explain how i heal in general and like why i named these the healing diaries and in addition like like in addition how i like why i named these the healing diaries and like how i'm healing and like how, what tactics and like methods i use to like make me feel happy make me feel calm make me feel grounded etc yeah so basically like as i said before like this past semester was super tough for me uh one just as an asian american and layers my my identity and i'll go into this into a separate video but my identity is super complex and very difficult to navigate and so i was going through a lot of self-discovery as well as there are a lot of like external events such as the anti-asian hate that was going on in the world that was really prevalent in shaping the way my semester went last like a couple months ago so anyways i came home i was pretty nervous about coming home and i definitely just felt like documenting my journey just throughout the summer and videoing and just talking to a camera like definitely helps me process things a lot and so yeah it definitely helps me process things in that i can kind of decipher what i'm saying through my words but in the moment if you know what i'm saying. like i can't get caught up in my head like i have to like kind of just like spit it out and i think it's a good way for me to kind of just like process everything that's going on so yeah and i think that i use my youtube channel not for cloud at all but just as a way for me to kind of document my journey and so then i can look back at it so they're kind of just time stamps of my life so yeah and so anyways after this traumatic experience that i had this past weekend i definitely i think that with buddhist practices coupled with just in general like knowing myself more i was definitely able to kind of just let myself and i'm still i'm still doing this now but kind of like let myself sit with my emotions and, and not fight them and and understand that i have every right to feel hurt distraught um disempowered um sad in pain like all these types of emotions i am so so valid for feeling and so recognizing and and validating my own emotions is so important to me because i think it helps me kind of just let them soak in and fully penetrate me and then release them so i can reach peace with myself and so i think that's what i've been doing i've been really trying to relax watch movies with friends eat good food take it moment by moment only surround myself and talk to people who really bring me up and who I feel comfortable sharing things with and yeah and I think that's really good and I think that that is a really good step for me in the right direction of you know gaining more knowledge about how I can heal and how I can you know self-preserve and really love myself because like reminding yourself that you're worthy is so difficult especially during times like this when you know your whole entire identity is and confidence is obliterated by someone's you know thoughtless and ridiculous and hateful comments towards you and so i think that just recognizing that you're so valid in your own emotions and kind of just like letting yourself process in any way whether that be working out yoga driving around listening to music like definitely that, those are some of the things that help me like journaling listening to hitomi mochizuki like her videos oh my gosh they're just so magical and and you know very healing to me as well and so i think that like doing that definitely helps me and i think that like definitely just making less like each person is different so like making less about like what empowers you and what makes you feel really good in the moment is really really valuable so yeah that's my little rants or my little like spiel i'm like very tired this whole week has been super tough but 
I've gotten through it. So we are so strong and I know this next coming week is going to be difficult, but at the same time, I'm so strong. So empowered, empowered. Okay. Let's just set this, let's just set the camera up. Okay. So basically I just want to like address a couple things. So basically I was feeling like very, I was feeling very emotional. Like, let's just say that. I was feeling very like angry. Um, and part of like this healing journey is recognizing, I can't even bend down. Part of this, like part of this healing journey, maybe I'll like kneel. I don't know what, oh, I'll kneel. Okay. So part of this healing journey that I'm trying to get on is like really recognizing myself in these different states of like when I'm sad, when I'm angry, when I'm in pain, and just like recognizing like like as being a Buddhist, like recognizing what kind of state you're in in that moment and like validating yourself. And so I think that like that has been really good for me. And so it's like, for example, when I'm angry, like I definitely like to drive around to my anger playlist with the windows rolled down and just like feel the wind on my face and like that makes me feel really good uh another thing that makes me feel really good is and also to help process is voice memos i love doing that it makes me feel really good to just like let it all out and kind of just like really document how i'm feeling and the last thing i like to do so basically like i don't have or for the past or since april so for a long time i have not had social media and so april or i guess it's like three months i haven't had social media and i really like the life of no social media like for sure like i don't have snapchat i don't have instagram i don't have tiktok or anything but um yeah today i was just feeling really angry inside and i really wanted to like express my feelings and i feel like part of the way that i can release anger is really just feeling like my voice is being amplified and really and just really like sharing my point of view i would say to i would say like sharing sharing my perspective on things and like certain issues and topics that i'm passionate about really makes me feel empowered and makes me feel worthy and it makes me feel like i am actively participating in putting my voice out there and really advocating for the people of color community and so today long story short i today i reactivated my instagram just because i felt like i had a platform that i could use to amplify my own voice and my own opinions upon certain topics and i felt like it was really imperative for me to use that platform to the best of my advantage meaning like not for social media clout not for like telling everyone like what was going on in my life but rather like really just sharing my opinions on sensitive topics or just topics that are very personal to me so yes if you'd like to check out my instagram it'll be linked below it might be deactivated by the time you like i mean i'm trying to keep it up for a long time it's just like because i think that the message is really important and that and that uh, overrides me just like not wanting to have instagram like i would rather like have my voice out there and, and and have it as a platform to empower other women of color and other people of color rather than just deactivate it it just at times it's hard for me to like have social media and use it and like and use it in a positive way in that like i can still use it to amplify my voice and other pe voices of color but also it's as everyone knows it's very hard to like it's easy to fall into a trap in Instagram, no matter how much self-control I have. Oftentimes, I just get, I get subjected to, you know, like, comparison and, you know, all that kind of thing, which I really is very toxic for me, which is the reason why I took a break from Instagram in the first place. So, we shall see, we shall see, but I just wanted to share that with you. I'm joined here with Nelly today. Nelly! Nelly, say hi! Okay, y'all, so I just want to talk to you about everything, you know, check in with you, like, let you know of this, like, healing process that I'm still on. So, I did watch Chika Khan, and he was so amazing, and he talked really about uh, letting go and being in the moment and really embracing the pain and 
being able to tenderly care for it so you can let it go and reach peace and living with compassion as well and so honestly i felt very enlightened when i watched this video i did a lot of self-care work today i did yoga i nabbed a lot i saw some friends i was really able to just like recuperate and kind of just care for myself and really understand and value my own self-worth and that has been so important for me and i think that like obviously this healing journey is not over yet and we do have ups and downs but the most important thing is like when you are in moments of pain as Tika Khan says to not run away from it but rather than embrace it and and live in the moment and come to bring into the pain bring in the pain into your life and treat it with tenderness and care and when you do that you're able to release it and so i think that that's something that i've been really trying to do and i think it's working and i think i'm like in a lot better of a mindset than i was this morning and then also a lot better mindset than i was last night obviously and like yesterday and two nights ago when it actually happened so yeah i'm, I'm feeling a lot better which is really good um i'll keep you updated i just think that like honestly treating people with compassion and empathy is like the best thing you can do treat everyone with love and so you know it's for me like letting go of all of that anger and and um and kind of understanding the pain of it and validate validating myself but then also just understanding and knowing how to live with compassion and you know i really feel for the people who made those comments against me that made me feel very diminished and very devalued and humiliated but at the same time like I understand that everyone comes from a different place and has a different upbringing and which lead the, which leads them all to this moment which was definitely just an act of insecurity and foolishness and I can let that go and I can live with peace and I feel like I don't live with grudges like I don't I don't like to hold anything against anyone. I let everyone be on their own paths, their own journeys of self-improvement and self-growth and self, self, self growth and self-love. And it's just clear based on their, their actions that were committed against me that they are not as far along on their journey as I am, but that's okay and I accept that and I validate them for that and I validate me for that and I move on and there's no reason why I need to, get to continue to keep including those people in my life or anyone in my life who you know is going to treat me with disrespect but I think that like I let them go I let them live their own life and that is how I can release the anger and the sadness and the pain that has been pent up within me and kind of just live with peace and live with myself and understand that I'm doing um, the best possibility, the best that I can to surround myself with people that I love and people that I really cherish deeply. And that is the best thing that I can do at this very moment in the present time and the present moment. Hello y'all. So what will be a vlog without Lucky's Cafe in the background? So yeah i thought i'd just share with you my lovely wrap and we're getting after it today i feel a lot better um and yeah i mean i have my wrap uh i'm really practicing advocacy and social activism here in my local town so i'm feeling really good uh yeah i feel a lot better so this is a step in the healing journey and you know i think this is a good healthy coping mechanism is like you know sharing my voice and feeling like i'm an activist and feeling like i'm doing my best to like be a good citizen in this community and like share my own story so yeah like it's so bad let's oh. debrief <laughs> yeah but oh nate said yes to make something oh wait why did he text you not what? daddy's yeah, I know. What is this? What is this? So, we're just going to debrief what happened at the gym without using Good names. On. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, let's start. Okay, let's first well, thing. okay. Wait, wait. If you guys are real ones and watch wait. all the YouTube videos, you'll know in Alice's last one, she mentioned this special someone who doesn't work out at all. Like, I thought she was exaggerating. 
but they literally just sit on their phone the whole time. It's they really so get that bad. Instagram story time. It's in so and... bad. But also, oh, okay, it's like difficult because like I give them, I give them the respect of waking up early. Yeah, oh, they like, literally wake up at five thirty. Because like that's good, but the thing is, it's like why wake up at five thirty? Wait, gonna how do far anything? do you think they drive? I'll bleep it up. But like, how far? Like thirty? Uh, maybe like twenty, twenty-five. They were up at uh like five thirty, like. So it must be kind of far away. So we have that going on the gym. Then we have, then we have the dynamic duo of the old, <laughs> just like this. Really, I just, I don't even know if I can include this in the vlog. I just like can't do it. It's He's not gonna watch this video, but the okay, tension the, is there. The tension's there. The tension is there. Like the way they look at each other is not even okay. It's like I can. Bad. Oh, this is so <laughs> bad. This is so bad. This is so bad because. This reminds me of a year ago when all I could drink is smoothies. And what did I get for breakfast? A smoothie. Oh. I'm trying exactly. to figure out whether I want to get like go to Jake's because like I love Jake's, but at the same time, like every time I go there, like it kind of just gets worse and worse every time I go. So what do you get there? there? I get there like a wrap with like a spinach wrap with like cheese and egg and avocado and tomatoes. Oh. It's like pretty good. It mm. actually does. Maybe sound I should just good. go. <laughs> no, my whole life. Okay. My life's just skinny, or wait, just swim, just swim in the ocean, in the river, in the Connecticut River, real, that took a lot of fries. real Vermont. Yeah. Hi, y'all. What would a vlog be without you back? Okay, anyways, so let's just assess, let's, let's just, let's just assess the situation here. The situation, the situation here. Let's get situated in a situation. So, like, went to bed at... 12 30 woke up at 5 30 because morning person but also like okay here's the deal like, the problem is is that like i love getting up early and i love like the morning grind but i also love staying up but like i function really well in the morning so it's just like ugh, it's a difficult time i just need to like get myself to bed it's just really hard because like i want to live it up in the summer you know i want to be going to bed at, like at 9 p.m <sighs> tough times so i think i'm gonna get a coffee it's just like tough because like i don't really want to be spending like five dollars each time i go get breakfast but it's just difficult because right now i'm hassling so i can't really do anything right now until i stop hassling today's thursday so i only have one more day like one or two more days of this so we're okay we're okay um that's that and you know so like i got so like i don't have Okay, so, like, I recently, as I was saying before, like, I recently reactivated my Instagram. But I, like, wanted to deactivate it soon because, like, I, I, like, I hate Instagram and I hate the whole premises of it. And I hate just, like, having an online presence. Like, I hate it. Um, another thing. So, I have some, like, dilemmas. So, it's, like, if I reactivate my Instagram every time I'm, like, fuming or, like, have something, like, really important to say, I feel like everyone will just think I'm, like, constantly having, like, existential crises, which, like, I am. But, like, yeah, because, like, I don't like to post about normal things because I like, kind of just like to have my own life for myself, you know? Whatever. Maybe I just fuck it and be like, fuck Instagram societal standards. Maybe I should just do that right now. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know. It's just hard. I'm also, like, public. It's just, like, oh. Then I also just, like, reactivated my snapchat like for no reason i was like oh maybe i'll just reactivate my snapchat and then i saw that someone had added me and i was like i don't use snapchat but then i saw them anyway but like it's just like hard because like oh how do i communicate with people if i don't have social media just mandar un texto okay so i think i'm like going crazy because like i don't have any sleep but yeah okay bye let's just quickly decipher what's going on um let's quickly decipher so let's just fuck. okay so you tell me i literally got a package of extra large and i didn't understand i didn't understand the labeling of the package and there's literally like 15 of them ah why am i like this Anyways, uh, and then I have a time period. I literally got a time period wrong. I was supposed to wait two weeks to get tested. And then, I, oh, okay, everyone, practice safe sex. But 
anyways hello y'all another day in the zoom vlog anyways so rip chris harriet yeah so basically i went to my pt person and you know hashtag couldn't run can't run for over two years and basically she said not to do any of Chris Heria's exercises. And I got so sad because like Chris Heria is love, Chris Heria is life, but it's okay. We're gonna get over it. Um, yeah, so but this is gonna be the summer that I run. Like I'm manifesting it. I'm manifesting my pain. And like I strongly believe that I can do this. I had freaking I had freaking Jamelli pasta last night. Like, what the fuck? You cannot get better than that. Insert picture anyways um that's that so okay y'all i've also found my like perfect order from jake's i'm trying to figure out whether i want to get like go to jake's because like i love jake's but at the same time like every time i go there like it kind of just gets worse and worse every time i go so what do you get there so i'm trying okay this is just an exception because i was house sitting this week so i'm trying i'm like definitely not gonna be going every day next week because i can't afford that um but spinach wrap eggs tomatoes onions avocado feta cheese so freaking good mm.